Welcome to the ASJ and ASJ Open Forum screencast series. It's an educational audio series that helps you learn about new articles in ASJ, watch videos, listen to audio, and hopefully improve your practice. In the first issue of ASJ Open Forum, we present masculinized male chest contouring, creating the armor plate. Male patients are routinely consulted regarding a dislike of their chest appearance. To date, the majority of patients have desired elimination of their feminine appearing breast, termed gynecomastia. These patients have associated their overweight body image with the femininity of their breasts as presented by fullness and roundedness of their breasts and subsequently have desired maximal flattening of their breast. We present a new set of patients who desire a more muscular appearing chest than a gynecomastia repair that is interposed on a chiseled abdominal contour. In contrast to the former set of patients, these patients desire bulking of their breasts with a bolder appearing armor plate look. We present an alternative to traditional gynecomastia repair, which involves a novel approach to chest contouring creating a flat yet bold pentagonal shaped breast with linear borders, including both fat and gland removal, as well as strategic fat grafting back into the chest. We present a novel approach to create an armor plate male chest appearance as an alternative to traditional gynecomastia contouring. All patients treated to date demonstrate a muscular appearing chest that is harmonious on an interposed masculine appearing abdomen. And here you can see images straight out of the ASJ open form article illustrating these authors technique. And they say when the degree of fat fibrous tissue ex excess is associated with minimal to moderate skin redundancy, you are an ideal candidate for the limited incision gynecomastia repair. Infrequently, patients with severe breast skin redundancy will be recommended to undergo and block resection of the breast skin. So what do we mean exactly when we say an armor plate look? Well, apparently this is depicting the strength of a medieval fighting suit and really creates that etching and abdomen six or eight pack look. So key takeaways from this article are number one, the use of fat grafting in creating the armor chest plate is best suited for enhanced musculature profiles of the pectoral muscle. Number two, previously a trapezoidal chest approach was used, but that doesn't seem to be as popular a procedure as this one. And number three, the armor plate appearance provides a more harmonious appearance when interposed with an etched abdomen. One of the great supplementary materials available through ASJ Open Forum is the inclusion of video. So you can look at the operative techniques, the different clinical techniques that are being used, and you can learn directly from these authors. So take a look at this video. You can access it at this link below and find out exactly how this procedure works and some of the key pearls of wisdom these authors impart. As always, we like to ask, what comes next? How efficacious is this procedure? These authors indicate that further monitoring and evaluation of these patients will really help expand the evaluation of fat cell survival to determine just how effective this procedure is. So we'll look forward to watching as this uh, procedure evolves, what comes next, and we'll bring it to you here through ASJ Open Forum. And as always, if you've got any questions, feel free to write to me directly at phaedra at surgery.org. We're happy to answer questions. We're happy to um, explore different topics with you, and we would love to hear from you. Please be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, and we'll see you next month.